Ah, uh, What's pop internet? Welcome to another episode of the Synced Up Podcast. Oh. I'm one of your hosts. This is the show. Sorry. This is the show where we're talking about news game sandwich, a little fun in between. I'm one of your hosts, Timothy DeRoe, and joining me this week is Jordan instead of Mike. If you're a video viewer, you had a little treat there for you. Ooh, that was thanks. a little weird. How you doing, Jordan? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This is the Friendsgiving Sunday, so if you hear noise in the background, don't worry. There's people over here. It's all good. Mind your business. Uh, Jordan's on the podcast because Mike has the shits, so it's all good. At that out. <laughs> so, you know. You There's know, not a disrespect in this part. I you, told you some fuckery. You know, today we're going to talk about Xbox 20th anniversary, some new game announcements, a bunch of new game announcements. GTA is doing some stuff, and Panda Global is making money moves. But before we get into that, a little bit of housekeeping for you. If you enjoy our show, that the show that we're talking about right now, the show that we're on. No, this one? Yeah. If you enjoy it, you should go to SyncedUpPod slash, no, what? 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 Patreon.com slash SyncedUp. Jesus. Where for $1, you can get access to our lovely Discord, where, what did we talk about today? Halo. Not much today. Busy day today. But Halo, we Arcane. Stuff, we watched Arcane today, Mm-mm. which we'll talk about. Wait. No, well, no. we watched that yesterday, yesterday, which we'll talk about that tomorrow. That's weird. Which is the next day for you from two days ago. Tommy, why me? Also, for five dollars, you can get access to the post show um, that we do on both of our shows and many more goodies all from YouTube.com slash think podcast and podcasting <laughs> services around the globe. Yeah, it's written down on the paper for you. Yeah, sorry. I, you know, usually I hit it real good. Usually I hit it real good. Um, sleep, it's a late day and it's it's a Friendsgiving. So let's not do a post show today. No post show today. No post show today. Y'all understand. It's Thanksgiving week. It's Thanksgiving week. It's all good. The we'll still do one tomorrow. It's all good. It's all fine. What? 20 minutes for tomorrow. It's good. Also, new episodes of all this show specifically will go up on all those feeds. Mondays, 7 a.m. Central, Central Time, Time Zone, Zone gang. gang. You should also consider writing into the pod at syncedappod at gmail.com or following us on Twitter. Wait, Jesus Christ. You know, <laughs> I got a bunch of food in me. I got a, I got a bunch of food. Um, so I'm a little okay. Right into syncedappod@gmail.com or the reader mail submissions tab of the Discord with any questions, comments, concerns. We may read those on the show. You should also consider following us on Twitter at syncedappod at not at Gmail, just at syncedappod. <laughs> oh my god! To keep up the date with all of our content from across the board. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're we, not starting over. We, we're rolling we with this. Through. Run it back, Turbo. We're good. Anyway, that was the housekeeping. Hello. We stumbled through that, but we made it. Um, Tom Holland's joining us for some reason. Uh, don't worry about it. Hey Tom. I guess. Uh, let's talk about the Xbox 20th anniversary. That happened this week. Mm-hmm. Sorry, this is my burp. Probably gonna be a lot of those this, uh, this day, this fine day. I got the sniffles. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. But it's all good. Xbox 20th anniversary stream was this week. Well, exactly a week ago since y'all watched this, which sucks because you know we upload a pod and mm-hmm. then the Xbox does their 20th anniversary the same day. Sucks. Yeah. You know, can't really do that. But you know, it's whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so they did their 20th anniversary stream. They announced some new stuff, showed off some old stuff, and did some surprise drops. And we're gonna talk about those now. So they announced that a six-part documentary on the history of Xbox is gonna launch in December. Which is popping, in my opinion. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah. That's that. I'm super interested in like, you know, like leading up to the Xbox the 360. They showed some like the scandals mm-hmm. and people were worried about stuff. I'm super into that. Um, they also added 70 new backwards compatible games from the original Xbox and the Xbox 360, and 37 of those are going to have FPS boost on the Xbox Series X and S, which is tight. I know a lot of Sonic games are getting that, and people are excited about that. Sonic and 60 FPS. Feasting. Feasting. We eat. We eaten. Then they showed off the a little bit of teaser, little really, really, really tiny teaser of the Halo live action TV series. Um, getting a first look teaser, exclusive to Paramount Plus. I'm gonna be 100 about this. Yes. I got no faith in that. Really? I'm, I don't think. I don't know, know, man. I I'm agree. Not, like I got in the modern right. era. In the modern era. It looks like dog, bro. It's not bro, it was good. a t- It was five seconds. Uh, that's listen, all I needed. It ain't even the visuals, bro. I just listen. I don't think you could. What's I've been burnt before. I've, I've been, been burnt <laughs> before. I've yeah. been burnt before too. But you just gotta believe. You can't, not everyone can be arcane. You just we'll gotta talk believe. About tomorrow. Yeah, we'll talk about arcane tomorrow. Um, but that's exclusive to Paramount Plus, which is a pretty. Even if you got no faith in it, that's a big gift for Paramount Plus. Cool, yeah. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild. And then they shadow dropped the Halo Infinite multiplayer. They dropped that off the cuff. We know we had rumors going in. Mike last week, he was a doubter, turned around, became a believer once it happened. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. So everybody joined in. We've been getting six, seven man games going. Everybody in the Xbox party. It's been popping off. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. We'll get everybody's thoughts on that. But just know, Halo Infinite dropped, um, and and that's uh that's that's crazy. Blew my fucking mind. A month Halo's early. Back, baby. Halo is back, baby. Um, so for the 20th anniversary stream, I thought this was a perfect little stream. I don't know if you watched it. I didn't. I didn't watch all. Yeah, of it. I saw some of the highlights. Like I, I, knew I about came that. in. It's about 20 minutes long. Real, it was it was just a nostalgia trip. Let's just appreciate Xbox. Let's bring the rock out. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna you know 
talk about his new movie, but it's all good. We're going to bring The Rock out because he was there when the first Xbox launched. Mm. Um, we're going to have people talking about uh, games. We're going to have people talking about Xbox Live and how that made them meet people and friends that they didn't have before. Like, Let's just uh, have love and appreciate Xbox. And also, hey, you're getting backwards compatibility titles. Um, you're getting FPS boosts. Oh, the Halo series is being made. Oh, we're doing a documentary. And you know what? You can play Halo right now, which was, which was crazy. I mean, that's just a nice little gift. It's like, hey, we know we're showing you a lot of stuff, but like, hey, go have fun now. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm really excited for this documentary. Me too. Because it's going to be cool to see gaming like we saw it from an adult point of view. Yeah. As a kid. Like yeah. To see what the Because we were, yeah, we were there as yeah, kids. Yeah, we weren't understanding what was yeah. going on. I'm ex- right the most um, thing I'm, the most part, the big, Jesus, the biggest part of the documentary I'm excited for, I think is Red Rings of Death. Whenever we get to that oh, section, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be so that. Because that. That, was, that, was, that was a whole era, it's so bro. crazy that that was a thing that was yeah, happening. Yeah, that was a whole era. That was a whole era. Anyway, that's it for the Xbox 20th anniversary. Get excited. Appreciate Xbox. Play some Halo. It's on Game Pass. Or it's free to play, actually. Just free to play, period. Um, get Game Pass anyway because you're going to be able to play the campaign come December 8th when the full game launches. We got new things coming next week for Halo. They got a new event coming out. They look like they're going to have some serious support going forward with these events, with these battle passes. They've come out. They've took it. They've taken community feedback pretty much immediately. They said, hey, you don't like how slow the battle pass is? We're changing it. We're giving you new challenges. We're making the other challenges easier. We're doing stuff like that. It seems like they're really focusing on community building and just making sure everybody that's playing the game is loving the game and keeping that going forward. Mm-hmm. But before you move on past yeah. the, the Halo talk, um, rip, rip Battlefield. Yeah, rest in peace, Battlefield. I, do, do you think it was very intentional? Because, okay, Microsoft has a partnership with EA, right? Yes, they do. So was that, do you think there was even any communication before? I don't know, man. And it, it's even worse for Battlefield because the Friday that it came out, the only people who bought the special edition got to play Battlefield. The official edition of Battlefield didn't come out until after Halo dropped. The official edition for when you just have Battlefield itself or you can play the 10 hours early was Wednesday. The, the month was after the Halo came out. Two days after Halo. Yeah. So only people who had the special edition of Battlefield were actually playing it at that so, time. So, like, would you have even tried... Okay, so you, you played Battlefield back at the beta, but would you have tried it again had Halo not dropped, you think? Yes. But since Halo dropped, I'm just... There's I'm no not even bothered. There's no There's point, no right? Need. Everybody's in. Even Jordan wasn't super into it. Just played, you know, a few more hours, and now he's into it playing ranked and stuff. And so, like, everybody's into it. Everybody's playing. That's what I want to play. So um, that's what we're going to play going forward for a while, I think. Probably. Um, that's going to be that game that we keep going back to because it's going to be easy to get a big group together to play that, especially because it's free. Like, we never played. Like, Ben and his friends. Like, but Yeah, just, my friend Ben playing, playing with him. Um, my dad's considering getting the Xbox. Terrence busted out his old Xbox One to download Halo and play with us when he gets a headset. Really, Even Noah was playing on PC with us. It's really impressive to see, like, when it comes to, like, Halo, like, people... It don't matter if you hang out or you don't hang out or you talk. You're not like, hey, we're trying to get some Halo. Yeah, let's go. Let's run. Yeah, let's run that shit. Everyone's down to play yep. It's a very universal game. Yeah. yeah. you. Everybody loves it. It's a... what They, they called it was a combat sandbox. It's just stupid fun. Shit's going down. We're driving in the Warthog, me and you driving around. Dude, we just just so many funny moments that are just great. You're always cackling playing this damn game. Anyway, there's some other new games coming out that weren't shadow dropped on a random Monday. Three new games got announced. Well, not... I guess, no, I guess all of these were, one of them was an announcement, but three new info on new games coming out down down the line. Uh, the first one, which was completely new, this is more in Mike's wheelhouse than your wheelhouse, Jordan, mm. um, Pr- Dragon Ball Breakers, which is a uh, 7v1 asymmetric Dragon Ball survival game where you play as just regular humans uh, versus okay. Cell. That doesn't seem I know fair. instinctively people want to like shit on it. Dude, I'm shitting on it. It, it, oh, it looks bad, but I'm... It looks I'm, terrible. I'm glad they're making something that isn't just the... Kakarot? Yeah, the same yeah. game that we've been getting for 10 years, right? Yeah. So I appreciate that. Yeah. I hope it does well enough. Yeah. I don't I, want it to fail or I anything. Don't think it will, I, I probably won't play it at all. Yeah, I have no faith. <laughs> I have no faith. I don't understand how the name made it past testing. Dragon Ball Breakers? It's a little Ball, weird. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball Breakers. Like, <laughs> It's not a good name. Oh, no, that's rough. It, it's tough. Yeah. And, it looks it just it, it looks, looks dog. dog. Any any of you um any of you Dragon Ball fans out there go get excited for this. They haven't they haven't shown any like crazy details or anything. All that stuff's coming later, but get get excited for this, I guess. I know I'm not. Anyway, Project L, a thing I'm actually excited about. It's the code name currently for the Riot Games League of Legends fighting game that's coming out down the line. They of course released it after the finale of Arcane because um, they want people to get excited. All of those characters that are in Arcane, that's the same art style. Those characters' designs, that's what's in this. Um, people have love for those characters now. Mm-hmm. I think this was perfectly timed. Wait for after the finale. Go ahead and drop this. It's a dev diary. It's an update. This is what's coming for the game. And honestly, I'm into it. They've shown off the game. They showed um, 
We want it to be easy for new players. We want to have simplicity's sake, which is one of my favorite parts of Smash Bros. Mm. Um, inputs like in, in Street Fighter and Tekken and those games, the inputs, the crazy down, right, left, up, B, crazy things, keep me from playing those games. It's too ca it's too crazy, impossible to keep like keep a grip on, and I just I always I miss input enough in Smash Bros. Bro, yeah. you think I'm gonna be misinputting in that game too? For sure. So they came out and they said, hey, we're gonna try to keep it simple. A lot of like simple inputs. Uh, but if you combine, they were saying like if you combine these in the right way. That's where your top level pro play comes from. Going crazy. So that's the type of thing that I'm into. The dogs, the dogs, the dog is barking. We, we have a lot of things happening. Right the dog now. is barking. Hey, dad. Um, my my well, my dad and his girlfriend arrived for Thanksgiving, so apologies to everyone. Um, you know things are going down, but we're doing the pod. Um, but anyway, so yeah, just get really excited. Let's keep it simple while also letting it be complex. Mm -hmm. Keep that art style in there. I love these characters now. Um, they're characters I have like uh, like emotions towards, mm -hmm. um, and I'm super into it. They recreated some scenes from the show in the little the thing, and I was like, all right, this is tight. That would be fun. I know Mike was a uh, not as as hyped for it as I was. But well, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I'm still really hyped. Yeah. I just wasn't like, oh my gosh, this game looks amazing. Yeah. You were more excited about like the idea of yeah. it's gonna be a simple because game. I've always wanted to get into a 2D fighter like Street Fighter and stuff, but those inputs and stuff they don't get me. But you take these characters from well, from League of Legends, but ostensibly for me from Arcane. You make it simple, and you keep that art style. I'm, I think I'm, I'm very really, helpful. really in. And it's and it's an uh, assist or uh, team yeah. battle. So it, it it looks like you'll be able to bring in like two or three. Yeah, characters. and they showed a lot of Echo and his like weird like go back to where you were before things to do crazy combos and stuff. Like I, I think it's gonna be cool to see a mixture of like you know you take like Smash but make it League abilities. Yeah, I think that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a lot happening. Mm -hmm. but I think that's that's cool. Yeah, I yeah. I'm in for it as well. I'm I'm super super excited. Plus One more. Oh, arcade. go ahead. The, it, they, the art style it's great it's just, the concept art art style yeah. yeah it's so good i i i love it so so much one more game that was announced uh this week officially we knew it was coming because of some leaks but uh warner brothers multi versus um i can't remember the exact character list but you got characters uh, like shaggy superman uh batman uh harley quinn you have finn and jake Arya stark Arya stark you have uh a new brand new character made for the game that was in there uh steven universe and one of the characters from that game or show um that are in there it's gonna be a very also, another chaotic game. There's yeah. Be a lot going I'm on. excited to try this game because I think there's mad potential, but free to play. And there's ways to do free to play that are good. Mm. We can see it with Halo. That's good free to play. Yeah, Brawlhalla. That's as good well. free to play. Brawlhalla, good free to play. There was a one little screen grab in the trailer for the Multiverses game that made me worry that it wasn't going to be good. And that was a screen grab of going into a character and having abilities and perks that you can upgrade. Mm. And if, you're, if you have a free to play game, I'm worried that you could just pay money. To make your character really good. Yeah. Because it seems like netcode and multiplayer and guilds and like 2v2s is like the focus of this. Mm. And so you want to play online and do crazy stuff like that. But if it, if, it, if you could just pay a bunch of money and become gone tier, that makes me worried. But if it's just cosmetics for money, I think I'm really into this. I mean, I think it should, just like in a lot of other games. Like you take like Brawlhalla, right? Like it's, mm -hmm. that is cosmetics only. So like yeah. any skill that you exhibit, any like advantage you have is just mm -hmm. you being better. I'm, I'm very excited for this though. I think, I think. At least try it. There's a lot of fighting games coming out right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if this is a, a push to un- Throne, dethrone, dethrone, smash. Yeah, nobody's gonna or do what's smash. Kind of, or what, what, wait, they could. You yeah, know. No, I don't know, but I will. I will definitely try this. It's free. We might as well get a few I mean, games no going. Not to, yeah. Yeah, might as well get a few games going. Uh, but that's it. But we'll stay in the platform fighter game. That's keep in mind. It, Multiverse is a platform fighter. It is a Smash clone ostensibly. Um, but get excited. I, I would like to swing around as Arya Stark if it feels good and beat uh, some ass. Let me, let me be Harley and fuck on people. Yeah, that, that's gonna be really, really, really cool. But we're gonna stay in the Smash room because Panda, Panda Global announced an official partnership with Nintendo to have official Smash tourneys and circuits with prize pool support. Um, they're gonna bring more info later for official dates and things and how to do that. This is a big, big about get time, for Panda this Global. Is, this is relevant mostly and only because of melee yeah um they they're doing melee and ultimate it's not just one so nintendo has come back on their non-support for melee they're like hey we're gonna do this we're gonna let you play melee we're gonna do ultimate these are gonna be officially sanctioned tourneys um circuits we're gonna have circuits we're gonna have tons of prize pool money it's good to see nintendo actually support the competitive scene because they have never done anything yeah, like for this. sure they've never the closest nintendo has ever done anything like this um was the nintendo world championships like in the 90s when people were playing like mario 3 and weird things like that um so this is really really tight i'm i'm very excited it's for this it's really cool it, it yeah you got to try to not get your hopes up too much i know like, you see something like I this know. you're like okay uh, a melee remaster we, or a yeah port. we need we need more than just talk you know because obviously if they acknowledge that there's a huge scene behind melee it's very it's a very inaccessible game though yeah it's yeah. not something you can just get into now exactly so it, it hopefully there's some change to where that becomes more accessible by mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too high. No, I'll be yeah, watching it though. But I'm, I'm excited. I think we. I hope we get some fire streams as a result of this. The, <coughs> oh shit! I'm dying. dying. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm choking. She did. And then uh, one more little thing uh, this week: the GTA remakes. The, um, a lot of stuff happened. Those came out. They were dog water. Uh, GTA. They showed a a roadmap of stuff they're going to be fixing with these old ones. They announced they're taking the old ones that they removed from the stores. They're putting them back up on the stores. Um, a lot of good stuff. It shouldn't have happened this way in the first place. Yeah, you should have just done this to start with. Yeah, but you know we're we're gonna we're gonna try to bounce back. We're gonna make them better, and hopefully they can come out and make these better. People were excited for these, very it's very excited. So and sad because I was I hadn't even launched. I it, was man. super yeah I was super excited. That's downloaded. I downloaded it before Forza. Yo, I was so excited. To, I was so excited to try uh, San Andreas for the first time. Yeah, that and, would have been nice. And after that launch, I was like, it's I'm just, not it's just gonna. Yeah. There. I almost so, deleted it. So hopefully, hopefully in like six months, we're back to a good spot and we can we can go forward from there. Now it's time for this week in gaming, the what? section of the podcast that Do follows I, the news. No, this one? Yeah. No, it goes before. It's after, right. during? Oh, no, no, he's right. It's before. Is oh, it before? shit. Yeah, it's oh. Before but for this week's you did it historicals? It's okay. Echo Rewind. You ever been to history? Mm-hmm. Cl- class? History? Sorry. No. History class? History? Who? My, my class was so history, though. We're talking about geography here. For November 22nd, <laughs> Sid Meier's Pirates dropped in 2004. You ever played that? No, but uh, but Jared Petty stands by. It's one of his favorite games of all time. I mean, time. shout out to Sid Meier's. I just, I never played that. Yeah, me neither. Mike's about to hit his little button. We got info. You ever played it? Oh, he's chilling? Okay. 2005 on November 22nd, the Xbox 360 launched. What a console. What a fucking console. Uh, So, so good. Are we ready to say at least top three? Yeah. Uh, Yes. Absolutely. I have no question. I think so. I have no qualms. Well, because I I think it's... If we get rid of the Series X... It's number three. I think it's like... In no particular order, GameCube, Wii, 360. No, where? How did you not put PS2 in there? At yeah, all? facts. PS2, 360. Yeah. It's PS2 and Wii at the top, and then Xbox 360. 360 is probably number three. Yes, something like that. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare dropped in 2010. People love that one, dude. It's so. Okay. Oh, I wish they would do one for Red Dead Red Two. Uh, I was literally about to say that. Yeah. I think so. I thought it was really cool to play like the the campaign of mm-hmm. Red Dead and then go through and play the campaign of Red Dead again. Yeah. But with zombies. Yeah, that's in a different way. That's so cool. The continuity is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I, if they were to do it again with like how good Red Dead 2 is, I would play. The yeah, it could that. hit. 2013, you have the Xbox One drop with Rise, Son of Rome, Forza Motorsport 5, and Dead Rising 3. I like the Xbox One. Yeah, it was, it was okay. You weren't really, you were more on the PlayStation 4. I was PlayStation 4 during yeah. that time, but it's okay. Yeah, it's, I, I liked it. I liked it. It's like and the weird cousin I got love for. This is a banger day because you have Dead Rising 3, Forza Motorsport 5, Rise, Son of Rome, the Xbox One, then. Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds for the DS, what people love. And Super Mario 3D World. There was a day. There was something for everybody there. What a banging day. Yo, yeah. 3D World. It's a good I'm game. I'm glad I got to play it. Yeah. Good ass game. November 23rd, you have Final Fantasy 2 in 1991. Dang. Ocarina of Time in 1998. Mm. And then World of Warcraft in 2004, the original. No, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. You drop right before things. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. November 24th, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in 1992. Diddy Kong Racing in 1997. Donkey Kong 64 in 1999. And then Simpsons Road Rage in 2001. I Fire. love those games. That's a PS2 game. Yeah, Simpsons Road Rage, uh, Simpsons uh, Hit and Run. Classics. Fire. Fire. Straight I'm classics. You know what I'm noticing here? Huh? Uh, like, releasing your game from the 23rd to, like, the 27th is very like a very old thing to do. Yeah, because their they're, they're old dates are nothing, really. <laughs> I mean, this makes perfect this sense. Black Friday. The, yeah, it's all before the acceleration of Black Friday. Yeah, exactly. November 25th, Donkey Kong Country dropped in 1995. Then November 26th, nothing of note. And then November 27th, you have Kirby's Dream Land 3 in 1997 and Darksiders 3 in 2018. That game's... Fire. That's good. Three? You yeah. like three? I like two and three. Oh, okay. I didn't really like three. November 28th, Mario & Luigi Partners in Time dropped in 2005. A game I never played, but people love those Mario & Luigi games. So, that's cool. The only Mario & Luigi game... Not even really Mario. It was just Luigi. Luigi Mansion? Oh, fire. Mm-hmm. Now it's time to talk about the games that we've been playing. Which means the game that we've been playing. All right. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. Speak okay. For yourself. Okay. 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 I know Jordan's been playing a little bit of Andromeda. Go Is ahead and get into that. We've been um, liking it. So, okay. First off, I'm a Bioware stand. I'm also a Mass Effect stand. That's my favorite game series. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This game, when I originally played it, was very buggy. Yeah. I will say, as far I as like that. repairing your bugs, they, they fixed did good. it. They did good. Um, I think I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's yeah. a very different Mass Effect game for someone who's played the Mass Effect trilogy yeah. as many times as I have. It's very different. It's very yeah. unique. Also, it's very long. There's so many small quests to do. Everything takes so long to do. Yeah. But I think I like it. The combat That's is very good. chaotic and very Love upbeat. to hear it. Um, I think I'm ready to say I like it. All right. Um, I think I didn't like the it turnaround. when it first came out. I think I didn't like it because when it was just broken into mm-hmm. it, you have to 
step away from what Mass Effect was and yeah. figure out what Mass Effect can be. Exactly. And I think I was too young at the time to do that. Mm-hmm. So now I'm like, for what it is, for good. It's enjoyable. Good to hear. It's just and, slow. and then, Mike, you've been playing a little bit of that Pokemon? Playing a little bit of that Pokemon? Okay. I got a couple games to talk Go about. in. Um, I played a little bit of Pokemon. A I've little? been very interested and distracted by yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. This you've been game, playing Guardians. This game, I feel like... I don't know why. It was very easy for me to say I don't want to play it until my brother bought it. Mm-hmm. But after playing it, I don't know how it's such an easy skip for people. It is yeah. so good. It's just the, the time that it came out. The fact that they didn't do good in the trailers. It looks like a seven in the well, trailers. Yeah, the marketing wasn't great. It mm-hmm. doesn't. It doesn't sell itself in the trailers. But it's it's what you would want. It's and hidden. like the idea of only playing as um, Star Lord seemed weird. Mm-hmm. But it makes perfect sense once you start playing. The story they're telling is very good. Yeah. Um, I've I've been enjoying it a lot. So I hope both of you honestly will play it eventually. Nope. I will. You, I'll, I'll at least play it eventually. Jordan doesn't like Guardians. And I bet it comes to Game Pass. I hope, I hope it does. Mm-hmm. Um, just so you'll try it. But it's so good. I highly recommend it. It's probably my top five for the year. That's nice. Easily. I mean, the Noisty. top five is not that strong right now. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's a weaker It's a weaker year. And but the... Go ahead. And Pokemon's... Uh, okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah. It, it's well, what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's what it was. Not, it's nothing new. It's just what you expected. Yeah. Okay. That's that's good. If you least. like Pokemon, you like it. Then that's the right. uh, bigger release we've been playing this week, of course, everybody since it shadow dropped, Halo Infinite multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't praise this multiplayer enough. I think there's there's a lot of things I can say about this one. Halo's back, baby. <laughs> um, they have made this feel simultaneously back to roots mm-hmm. in Halo Three, while also being refreshing. And new, I think that has yeah. to do with the fact that the sprint is good. And like in Halo like 4 and stuff where it was rough the sprint is good the gameplay is classic Add, adding okay giving everyone a machine gun and a pistol off the jump good call the way the guns work and the pickups in this so much better it's so much with a scan it's so much easier to find guns and the I other games know you could do that in the other games it was like it was like it's, a chore because like you RNG. you had to run around the map and be like oh there's just a random battle rifle that's leaned up against this wall over here and if I'm not super familiar with the map I'll never get it mm. but here in this one it's like there's all these wall mounts they show you what the gun is outlined they'll show you if an if an enemy has it if a teammate has it already if it's about to respawn or something like that like it's it's crazy um, the same with the the grenades and everything just being a little floating on the ground yeah and then the um, I the really grapple appreciate hook, how the dash. many like grenades are like throughout the map yeah, like exactly. you're never out of grenades uh-huh. and if you are then you need to. Yeah. Relax. The abilities being on the ground, that makes it all refreshing. And then I think one of the, the best things that this game does, especially in modes like Big Team Battle, is encourage a concentrated firefight. So in Big Team Battle, when the sc- when it's like a scorpion tank incoming, mm. there's going to be a massive firefight. Everyone fight. converges. Exactly. And that do- that's really good. Instead of having the scorpion tank in a, spo- a spot where it's going to respawn consistently mm-hmm. throughout the match, it instead says... Hey, it, it announces to everyone, Scorpion Tank's incoming. It shows everyone where it's coming, and then mm-hmm. everyone runs over there to fight over it. Same yeah, with it the, spawns in a very contested area. Of the exactly. Map the Same with the bigger, like, oh, at the beginning of a 4v4 on, like, a map like Streets or something, oh, well, like everyone's the, fighting over the overshield. overshield or, like, the camo in the middle. They're like, yeah. all right, go get it. Everyone runs straight for that, and then there's a big firefight, and someone gets it, and your team has a little bit that, of an advantage, that, but not a big one. The best way to one. say it is there's very, very good sub-objectives yeah. yes. during the game. Exactly. I also, I think a big, like, a big thing about Halo has always been team shooting, right? You know, like if you see just two dudes and you and team are fighting, shoot the same guy. I bet you you want to fight, right? Yeah. Um, but, but I think Infinite takes that a level further, where like most of the time, if you're by yourself, you're probably gonna die. Yeah. Right. Like even I mean, you might win one at a time, but like they really encourage the team tactics. Yeah. It's, whenever it's you it's and your a, team are fighting together, that's what Lucas said. Lucas was, just get melted. Lucas said big team battle felt a little too chaotic, but uh, arena feels like a tactical FPS, yeah, and that's so what good. it is. Like, like, and you can tell, you can really see when it starts. Like, when everyone's just playing their own game, they're mm-hmm. running around, we're doing our own thing. It's so we're fun. losing. When the second yeah. you start, hey, hey left, up, Ex- there he is. Exactly. You start, you see the, the score just split. The it's only, just like crazy. The only qualms I'm having again are the qualms that they've been stated. The battle pass is a little slow. The challenges make you lose focus of the game mode that you're playing. Yeah. Things of that nature. But they've come out and they said we're fixing those. They've already shown some fixes already. Um, I think when the events come in and you start getting event specific challenges, that'll fix a lot of that as well. Yeah. Um, the customization goes dummy. I mean, it's just I think slow the only rolling. problem with that is like, yeah, like it takes so long to level up. Like, yeah, you can't get anything new because it's like you're four or five games. Before yeah, you're, and that's four or five <clears throat> games of sixteen kills, twenty exactly. kills, where you're like, dude, I'm putting in work. Yeah, but I'm getting nothing for it. But they they they're coming out and they're taking these complaints to heart and they're putting things in to alleviate those problems, mm-hmm. which I I love to see. Um, I'm just having a great time. There's there's only there's only like one map that I find myself not really enjoying. I enjoy pretty much all of them. I like all the game modes. That stockpile one's a little weak, but I still enjoy it. I think it's fun. It's it's interesting and unique. But my only anyway, play qual- that shit. My only qualm with Halo is that sometimes, like, even for you, like, it can work for you or against you. Sometimes mm-hmm. the, the TTK is like, what? Yeah. Like, sometimes you'll hit somebody, you're like, I don't know how I killed you. Yeah. And then other times you're like, bro, 
I can't even see you. Yeah, exactly. Like how am we? You know, it's just sometimes I think the the headshot damage is a little weird. Yeah, it's it's good but though. It's okay. It's fine. I think I think my favorite thing I've enjoyed about this game so far is that um, moving from fight to fight, I never feel out of options. Yeah, I might run out of my favorite options. But you're constantly picking up, like like Jordan said, different type of grenades. You're picking up the power ups, like the grappling hook, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and you're you're different engaging guns. each fight differently based yeah. on what you're picking up picking as up, you go. Yeah, For like sure. the needler or the heat mm-hmm. wave or something. like that. I will that. say, my, my I have a I, th- I think the shields recharge so slowly. Like sometimes you'll get through a very intense fight and you're like, okay. I'm gonna mm-hmm. stop here for a second, and by the time they start to recharge, there's already they're back on you. Yeah. So I think that needs to be increased a little bit. Maybe. Um, not much, but obviously just because sometimes you'll get through something you really feel accomplished, and yeah, it means nothing because you just can't fight. Yeah. Um, other than that, I I really like the way you have it encourages yeah. tactical thinking. Like yeah. if you pick up plasma grenades, you, you can't just run up in there. You exactly. Got, you got to know where to put it. Exactly. It's very cool. Grenade very cool. placements are important. Meleeing is important. God, you forget to do that sometimes. Yeah, you gotta be meleeing. You gotta be meleeing. But that's it for Halo. Play that shit. It's free to play. Go out and play it. It's out now. Hmm. Super super fun anyway one little piece of reader mail you can write into sync at gmail.com or the reader mail submissions tab of the discord just like fielding did with a little bit of a little bit of a question here for us to answer on the show Let's do it. what's up my dudes what's up cod vanguard came out this week and i've jumped in with both feet i played many hours of the multiplayer as well as completed the comp- the campaign i'm happy to report that vanguard is one of the best iterations in this franchise mm-hmm. it hugely improved upon the beta and it feels like they were actually listening to the community instead of having the mindset of how can we make the most money it feels like the dev's goal was to make the funnest game which in turn will make tons of money but i feel like their focus was in all the right places campaign was relatively short and and uh, told a fun and interesting story wait but Wait, what? Relatively short, but told a fun and interesting story. I only played a little bit of the zombies, but I, but what I played, I enjoyed. This game has exceeded my expectations. Have there been any games that you guys were met on, but ended up being one of your faves? Halo, Guardians. Halo. Oh, Guardians um, is doing Guardians that for you. Easy for me to say. Um, I'm trying to think of games. This year. Oh, okay, Grounded. Yeah, Grounded was Gra- like that a lot where Isaiah really hyped it up. He was like, "Dude, Grounded, super fun." And I was yeah. Like, like when you hear it, you're like, "I mean, it's okay, cool." Yeah. And then you get in, you're like, "Oh, I think, this is just Minecraft." Yeah. And, I think Andromeda's doing that for you a little bit. You was uh, ready into going into. I don't know if it. it's one of my faves. Well, yeah, um, not necessarily one of your faves. But, I mean, but it could definitely. I'm still very early. It could still get there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the biggest one though was probably Grounded Halo, because like I said, I told you guys, I'm like, I'm not a multiplayer Halo yeah. guy. I'm definitely a campaign Halo guy. When the campaign drops, catch me deep. Yeah. Um, but the multiplayer is creeping on you. It creeps. It's like at first you're like, oh, it's not really for me, and then you start to like. Click mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it was um, it was uh, Outer Wilds for me. Took me forever to get into that game. Chance finally got me in. It's like it's like my fourth favorite game ever. Damn. So fucking good. It's very good. So fucking good. <laughs> anyway, thank you for writing in, Fielding. I think I have a double XP code. I'm gonna give you in the Discord. So look out for that for Vanguard. And party up, boy. Party up, party up. Come in with Halo with us, bro. Come back. I seen you jump into Forza. I seen you jump into COD. Come back. Yeah, I miss hey, you, bro. Man, come back, for, Fielding. I miss you. Off, bro. It, it come on, come on, come on. Come back. Forza, We're in there. Forza's We're miss you. Anyway, that's it for this episode of the Synced Up Podcast. You should consider, if you're an audio listener, going to youtube.com slash Synced Up Podcast to give us a like and a sub over there. We'd very much appreciate that. You should also consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Synced Up for a dollar. Just one dollar. Get you in the Discord. Then you don't have to pay us If you one. love Tom Holland, you'll give us a dollar. Exactly. He's raw. Eh. He's raw. Eh. Well, even if you don't. Get excited. For, yeah. Even if you don't love him. We still love you. Exactly. Just do it for a dollar. Or for five dollars and get access to the post shows, which we normally do after the show, but we're not going to be doing it now because family's over. We got friends giving to do. So stuff. I hope you guys forgive us. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening to this episode of Synced Up Podcast. And we'll Happy see you guys. Yeah, exactly. We'll see you guys tomorrow and then also next week.